everybody, GP here, back with another EFT video. Another request I got about um, EFT, uh, about EFT and romantic relationships, and somebody in particular who was very um, struggling over it, really wanting to find, uh, in this case, a man in her life, and uh, really hadn't been, hasn't been able to do it. And again, I did a law of attraction video about it to kind of go into the inner state that needs to be there and the kind of things that cause that kind of those kinds of inner energetic ir, uh, disruptions or eruptions that just kind of keep the things that we love uh, at, at arm's length and there's two ways I like to approach it you know n number one is sometimes it's just an emotional block and that's what we're going to handle right here in EFT but but other times you know it, it's life inviting you to take a step up and I n never ever want to just take EFT and make it so therapeutic that we just fix things Right. Yeah, fixed. All good, because it's that's a temporary fix. I don't, you know, even even EFT, if it's not part of a greater a greater program and a greater interest in long term transformation and the development of into who you really are, it's it's just a very very nice aspirin, right? I mean, it's the the problem will reoccur because you haven't really gotten at the roots, um, and and the root of of course, is there's this necessity to, to really surrender, to really trust that life is bringing you to a place. Because it is not, I just want to, I want to visualize, this happens all the time in Law of Attraction, I want to visualize my perf the perfect mate, my perfect lover, right? <clears throat> and then I want to have that and not give any thought whatsoever to my own personal development and growth to where I can actually grow into the place where my energy is a match for it. We just I'm going to hold this really thought, and then my energy is going to go up, and then it's going to come together. You, you live energy. You don't grab energy. <laughs> you, you don't pretend energy. You don't put on the energetic costume. You know, now I'm vibrating like, you know, Superman or something. <clears throat> or now I'm vibrating like the, you know, the handsome guy, right? That You don't do that. You live it. It is the tenor of your life. So if you want to change your vibration, you need to change yourself at the roots. You just need to go right in and and be willing to let life bump up against you that brings out of you the new stuff that you didn't think before. I mean, it's just the way it is. You know, we're beings, we're lazy. If life doesn't kind of bash us upside the head every now and then, we'll stay exactly the way we are and complain about it. <laughs> so, all right. But in this video, I want to take EFT and I want to, and I want to go and, and address it right at the, from the point of view that there's simply an emotional block between you and what it is that you want to have. And we'll and we'll we'll explore it from that that point uh, that point of view. All right. So let's start on the karate chat point. Even though I don't have that person of my dreams, I deeply and completely and profoundly love and accept myself anyway. Very important. So even though something's in the way, I just can't attract that perfect relationship, that perfect lover. I deeply and profoundly love myself just the way I am and accept everything that's happening as the way it's supposed to be. <laughs> so even though I don't have this in my life, it isn't here, and I have a deep yearning for it. I totally love everything that's going on. I love myself. I love the circumstances. I even love the yearning. And I'm willing to go wherever this takes me. Let's tap through the points. I really don't have what I want. I don't have who I want. And I'm feeling empty. I'm open to the possibility that maybe even that relationship won't fill up this emptiness. I mean, I have felt it before. Oh, that's crazy. That's what I want. That's what it's a yearning for. That's what I have to have. But I am open to loving and accepting myself anyway. Loving myself whether I have it or not. Allowing myself to be happy whether I have it or not. Wow, I hadn't thought of that. Is it possible to be happy while you're waiting? Is it possible to be happy and actually just be content where I am? In fact, maybe that'd be even better. Wouldn't it be great to have a relationship come out of my contentment that brought more contentment? 
rather than out of feeling of lack. Filling something up that seems missing within me. I wonder if it's really missing within me. I'm really open to the possibility that maybe, just maybe, life knows what it's doing. I'm open to seeing whatever it is I need to see right now. Open to feeling whatever I need to feel. Open to growing in ways I hadn't thought I needed to. I'm open to taking my focus off of the immediate results and on to the source of those results, which is my own love of myself. I'm totally open to being present. I'm take a deep breath. That's not where I intended for that one to go, but you find the energy kind of goes where it wants to in, in EFT and in inner reconciliation, which is, you follow it. Wherever it goes, that's what's right for this moment. That's right for whoever's going to listen to this. And we'll take up other things as they, as they arise. But anyway, just kind of check in now with what that feels like. It is a shift in perspective. Because when we get so uh, attached to something we want in our life, it feels as if we'll never be happy without it. And of course, that's the biggest problem. That is the creation of suffering. Right? When we think that our happiness depends on, the, on, on the, having some particular object, some person or relationship or object or circumstance or state of mind in our life, that is going to be the thing that fills up that hole you have created and will perpetuate suffering because that's what suffering is, is the sense of not being enough, the sense of lack. And the mind wants to fill up lack through something externally. The heart says, there's nothing out there to get, it's all right here. Now don't let that put a scare into you. As a matter of fact, tap here, just tap on the collarbone while I'm saying this because it's really important. It puts a scare into people when I say that, that you don't, that to fill it up from the inside, you don't need anything out here. Because when, when somebody hears that, well, that means I'm not going to have it, right? Which is, of course, the same, you know, the, the same voice using, using different words. If you had it and it grew out of your sense of lack, it would only temporarily hide the sense of lack. There's somebody that's in my uh, training r right now that keeps having these, I mean, he's this woman he really wanted, he has her now, and all he can think about is her cheating on him and being with somebody else, right? You have to get to that essential sense of lack or you'll never actually even be able to enjoy the presence. But what happens now if a relationship grows out of the energy of your own completeness? Could that energy, could that relationship be anything other than an expression of completeness? That's how you make a permanent relationship. That's how you make a relationship that lasts. There's other things involved as well, but that's where it has to start. If you don't got that, you don't got it. You, you don't have anything to work with. Right? You can't build a mansion out of, out of metal tubes and canvas. You have to have the material out of which a mansion is made. The material out of which the real relationship that really will satisfy you will come, will come from the inner satisfaction that you discover. The, it's not that you get one and you don't have the other. What actually happens is you get one and that's what expresses itself in the other. I've often said that the law of attraction should be renamed the law of reflection. It is, it, it, you're not attracting it. It's like the mirror. You change the image in the mirror changes because you're changed. Right, let's tap through the points. This one, do this one more time and anchor it into the system. So, I'm not in the relationship that I want. Maybe I'm not in the relationship I want with myself. What I really want is happiness. Happiness that doesn't come and go all the time. Happiness that isn't a cheat. Where do I find permanent happiness? I know I've been taught and my energy system seems to believe that it's out there. But something inside says it's not. 
Something about these words ring, ring true. I want happiness that is full and complete, that doesn't have a feeling of lack in it, doesn't have the potential for lack in it. That means it needs to be anchored here, in myself, which never goes away. And then it can go out and express itself. I'm going to let my happiness find my perfect man, my perfect woman. I'm going to let my contentment find my ideal mate. So it's an, am an amplification of that and not a temporary substitute. I want something that lasts. I want something that's for good. So I'm going to let myself naturally turn within. I'm going to let myself trust my instincts. My energy knows how to do this already. It has been protecting me 24-7 since the day I was born. Before the day, nine months the day before, the day I was conceived. It has been working on my behalf. I'm just redirecting it now. I'm giving it different instructions. Find the happiness within and let that reflect itself without. Find the happiness within. I know you can do this. I know this energy within me can do this its nature is divine. Thank you. I love you. Take a deep breath. <clears throat> I really hope that's helpful. Again, I always like to point out that my approach to EFT is different. I call it the master heart approach because it, it really embodies uh, inner reconciliation uh, where there's it's this just very gentle way of working with your energy, completely respectful, completely loving, honoring all the parts of you, honoring the deep yearning for a relationship, but not letting it get corrupted by the idea that somehow the only way it can be fulfilled is out there, but keeping the order of being in the correct order. It all starts here. And when here has been nurtured and loved, it reflects itself out there. And this doesn't have to take a long time as you've just experienced. Until later, G.P. Walsh. Namaste.